Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the top 10 comic book Kickstarters of the month. And before I jump in, we do have a Kickstarter going on right now for our book Slice of Life. We have some enamel pins for that. So Slice of Life is about an anime character that comes to life and falls in love with a high school cheerleader. The enamel pins showcase some queer pins, anime style pins, and uh, Slice of Life style pins. So hopefully you guys could go check it out if you enjoy high school queer stories. Now, um, also, I am a Kickstarter consultant, so if you're you're looking to up your game for Kickstarter. Um, I help you to up your game from a page presentation uh, perspective and also a social media perspective. Uh, but let's jump into the top 10 Kickstarters. I do have one friend who has a Kickstarter and not to be biased, I do want to shout them out. Uh, we have Night Care, Adventures and Superhero Babysitting. Uh, and honestly, I'm a sucker for a good like young adult superhero comic book and just putting a, a nice twist on the superhero comic and this one just looks like a lot of fun from the art styles which there's so many beautiful covers a lot of cartoony covers to just the the story as well so that is a kickstarter you should check out now moving on to number 10 which is glitch issue one this is a steampunk book and this also really attracted me because of the artwork uh, it, and also because it's more teen oriented uh, i think that's a, a great uh, perspective to have for a steampunk ya series so uh again kind of more cartoony art style as well and uh a poc lead as well so moving on to number nine which is star noir and this is just a cool mashup where we get to see a 1940s detective i'm a, su a sucker for a good detective story teaming up with an alien and them having to figure out their own mystery usually it's the detective going against the alien so to see them teaming up i thought was a different perspective also very solid art style as well uh to bring that kind of noir uh tone to the book Moving on to a book I believe has been on the top 10 before, and that is Incident Report issue two now. And this is such a fun concept. Like I mentioned, I like superhero stories that kind of put a nice bend and angle on the, you know, the, the superhero story we've seen before. And this is the the opposite of uh, our normal, normal superhero story where the superhero is usually the the other character. Now in this story, everyone have, has superpowers. So how does that affect the heroes of these stories? And uh, yeah, it also looks like a nice comedic bend as well. Moving on to number seven, a really cool looking book and that is Shed Small Towns and Large Sea Monsters. Uh, you know, I, I think we we definitely get a lot of small town stories within like novels and and less so in, in comics. So to see a monster story, which I think fits very well with a small town with some really gorgeous art style and is, uh, in, in particular the coloring of this book, um, I thought really made this stand out. So that is number seven for me. Moving on to number six, which is Ichabod Jones. Um, Russell is a powerhouse on Kickstarter, and this is his last volume for Ichabod Jones, which has been a saga for a Kickstarter and comic books, and of course for Russell. So if you're a fan of Lovecraft, uh, which honestly we've seen a lot of different bends on, I feel like Russell was one of the leading voices for uh, in the comic side of things. Uh, why not see a funny and, and gruesome twist on, on, uh, on this franchise? So moving on to number five, which is Capable 1 through 5. I guess this is a superhero type month because this is another superhero book. Uh, and we get to see uh, disabled characters uh, be the heroes here and get superpowers and their powers relating to their disability, which I just thought was a really interesting angle on superheroes. And again, seeing a different perspective uh, in the superhero genre, which I think is very important. So that is number five. Moving on to number four, which is The After Realm. This is by Oming, uh, one of my favorite artists. And also uh, what I love about Kickstarter is seeing maybe something that will go into the direct market and, and just seeing different markets um, played with. So we get to see that this book is an image comic, but also being uh, released through Kickstarter as well, reaching a different audience for this fun fantasy cartoony series. So I just love when bigger publishers are also using this tool. Moving on to number three, which is Blood Force Trauma Issue 6. The vibe of this comic was just a lot of fun. Uh, I think we we have been seeing a couple more like wrestling uh, series through Kickstarter and uh, the direct market. Uh, so to see this kind of um, angle on this was cool. Uh, I love the style of art, like I mentioned. And uh, this is about a fighting TV show and our lead having to do with hacking and video games. A lot of different genres meshed together, a lot of different interests meshed together uh, to make a cool comic, which is why it is number three for me. 
Moving on to number two, which is Foul Brood. This is a crime book. So if you're looking for, again, more of a crime mystery style uh, series, this is one's for you. I'm a big fan of Sebla's uh, writing. I really loved Crowded. I love his social commentary. And you could definitely tell a lot of that's bleeding into this book as well. And again, I like when uh, we get to see direct market creators go into Kickstarter as well and uh, release maybe a different type of book. Uh, moving on to number one, speaking of uh, probably the biggest Kickstarter uh, up right now, which is Wasted Space by Vault Comics. That was a big announcement that Vault will be doing more collections on Kickstarter. I'm curious to see if they'll also be doing more maybe original work for Kickstarter. And this is just a big move for the platform, a big move for um, up and coming uh and people honestly compared to like A24 of movies, comic book company, and already it's doing really well. And I hope this makes the comic reach different audiences. I hope maybe the people that read direct comics or direct market comics will now go into Kickstarter and we're just blending in these different audiences, which I think is so important for the comic industry to survive and, and to grow. So very excited about this Kickstarter and excited to see what Vault's gonna bring uh, more towards uh, with Kickstarter and their, their comics uh, company as a whole. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Let me know in the comments below what were your favorite Kickstarters of the month. And of course, I'll be back next month to talk more about Kickstarter. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.